Hello and welcome to the Matt O'Grady Coaching Podcast, mattogradycoaching.com. Well, today's going to be a new series called Gratitude in Five Minutes or Five Minutes of Gratitude. Didn't decide the title just yet. As I'm working with some of my coaching clients, it seems to be (laughs) there's this idea that gratitude it takes this long time and you don't get all the results right away and all this and and I want to help people work through that because my experience is that gratitude is immediately gratifying the benefits are in the moment if you are awake and aware and present to what you're really grateful for it's so easy to feel better. So here's, I'm going to take us through the senses today. We experience our senses all day long, unconsciously, because we're just used to them being there. We can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch all day long and for our whole lives, um, unless we have some sort of quote-unquote disability, uh, there is we've got these five senses, they're inherent, they're just kind of always there. So if you don't take the time to really focus on them and be aware of them in this conscious way, we often just take them for granted. doesn't feel like there's anything to be grateful for. So just take a moment to relax and get connected as I take you through this being grateful for our senses exercise. We're going to start with sight. What are your favorite colors? Just picture it in your mind's eye. Think about how it makes you feel. And be grateful for it. I mean, I love, I really love all colors I've found, but I'm really drawn to uh, blues and greens and reds and yellows and even orange lately. But I love my purples. and um, So, yeah, just what what is it for you? Is it, do you wear them? Do you have them in your house, in your office, in artwork? Do you like it when other people wear it? Let's also think about the people you're most grateful to see. Who are those people? Your parents, your kids, your siblings, your best friends. Think about seeing them and really seeing them, using the ability to be behind your eyes as you're seeing. And be grateful for getting the chance to see the people you love most. And even if they're no longer in a body, you can be grateful for all the times that you were able to see someone you loved. I mean, what would your life have been without those experiences. Hmm. Notice how being grateful for what you can see makes you feel. What are you feeling in your heart when you think about colors, people? You see your favorite pastime, your favorite hobbies, your favorite downtime thing to go to do. What are you seeing? And let's move into hearing. What is your favorite music to listen to? What are some of your favorite sounds to hear? How about the person you love most, the sound of their voice? I was just being grateful last night for the way my son makes this little, like when he gets in for a cuddle, He does like a little, like he does like this cute little, like sound of relief and joy. He's just, he just loves to get in there and squeeze you. And I am so grateful for that sound. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes as I talk about it. So grateful. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for these feelings, this inspiration, this upliftment, this heart opening experience. That's what deep, real gratitude practice is. What sounds make you most happy? Hmm. 
How about what you can smell? What are your favorite aromas? I'm an essential oil guy, so I've got dozens of my favorite smells, but, you know, coffee in the morning is one of my favorites. Just love the smell of coffee and chai tea. I'm going to drink some chai tea right now. Uh, mm. What are your favorite foods? I love lavender. Mm, I love the roasty, savory smells. I love the way Cabernet grapes and Cabernet Franc grapes smell in my wine. What are your favorite aromas? Maybe the way the person you love most smells. Mm, I love the way my wife smells. I love the way my son smells. I love the way little babies smell. That, that fresh, like nothing else, um, a baby out of the bath. Oh my God. I'm just cuddling them tight. You know, there's so many amazing gifts we have just inherently. And what we can see and what we can hear and smell and taste. What are your favorite tastes? I mean, I just tasted my chai tea. It was so good. But I love some of my favorite dishes that I love to make. My mother's favorite ones. I'm really getting into uh, juicing and I, some of the green smells. I'm really enjoying it. You know, the taste is sometimes I'm like, ugh, you know, another green juice. But, but I really like the smell. Always. I, so I'm really grateful for that because the smell brings me into appreciating the taste more. And I know how good it is for me. What else do you love to taste? You know, sometimes the most delicious water. I feel like water has a, especially fresh, really healthy water has this amazing taste to it. And I love to just chug it, and I love how that feels, just taking that hydration deep into my body, my brain, and my organs, and my blood, and my muscles. <sighs> touch. Oh my god, touch. I mean, just if you can, if you're able, even before I did it, just take your fingers and gently touch your forehead, and your cheeks, and the sides of your neck, and... Be present to what that feels like. You know, there's right down the front of your neck, over your throat. I'm doing it now as I speak to you. It sounded like my voice changed to be a little more relaxed. Just soothing ourselves, you know? Just do it at the back of your hand or in your palm. Just notice what it is to feel. And obviously the people we love to have touch with the most our closest connections. Even if it's just a quick hug from a best friend, isn't that amazing? Or with our kids, with our partners, with the people we love most. You ever have that hug where you just, nobody wants to let go? Mm. Yep, getting choked up. See this? This is that feeling that is so good for us. It's so healthy for us to have this feeling. I urge you, I urge you, I'm, I'm three minutes over my five minutes of gratitude because <laughs> I can't seem to do a five minute podcast no matter how hard I try because <laughs> the good feelings get flowing and I don't want to stop. I just want to keep sharing it with you and I want you to get on this joy ride with me. We're just choosing to feel good, choosing to be grateful, to be appreciative, to be thankful for our senses what we can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch are gifts in our lives. And if we can appreciate them as we are experiencing them, it lifts us up in such a tremendous way just to take a few breaths and get grounded and be present with all the people that we love and all the things we love to do and all the amazing gifts we have in this life. It helps us not be so attached to the things that we wish were different, the sad parts of life. We all have things that are not the way we'd like them to be. But if we have a really active gratitude practice, it lifts us up and above all of those things that we're not so happy about. And we get to still experience joy, thankfulness, 
appreciation, upliftment, inspiration. And how's that to carry into your day? I'm going to carry it into my workday right now. This is my first morning podcast in some time. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for sharing. If there's anyone you think could appreciate this, please share it with them, either individually or on your social media channels. It would mean the world to me. If you do it and you show me, send me a screenshot of your share. I'll give you a free coaching micro session with me. Just email me at mattogrittycoaching.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Namaste.